Because if the 23 cc are cut like that, can you imagine what the big one would do? Guys, you are looking at one bad little machine here. Now some of you gonna remember that I done a video back on this Mariyama Big M BT230L weed eater. Now this is a small lightweight weed eater guys and I get questions about it all the time especially from my locals around here when they see me with it because some of them ain't never seen the Mariyama don't know nothing about it but it's made in Japan. It's sold at a local dealer right up here Oak Grove Tiger Stop. If you're a local you may want to stop by Oak Grove Tiger Stop and check them out. But today's video I'm out here on a pond and this is 300, a little over 300 feet long and approximately 125, 150 feet wide. And that's just a guesstimation. I ain't measured the pond, but it's a big pond. And I'm going to be weed eating all the way around the edge of this pond. I done got about, I don't know, 25% of it done. And I thought, well, I'm just going to show you guys how tough this little weed eater is and all I'm using this string I ain't got no blade on the end or nothing and I'm gonna show y'all how this is a little workhorse now I've owned other weed eaters before but I have never owned a weed eater this powerful this small if you compare this size to size to the same cc's this thing eats circles around them other ones and I'm saying them other ones them other ones that I've owned so I'm finna fire up and I'm gonna start working down through here and I'm probably gonna run out of strain pretty quick because I ain't changed the strain here in a little bit so I'm probably gonna run out of strain and but we'll strain her back up and continue on. Guys, you can see, that's a pretty tough little weed eater for a 23cc weed eater. And like I said, if you're here locally in Oak Grove, Louisiana, you can check these out at the Tiger Stop. And if you ain't local, I challenge you to get online and look up Mariyama and find a local dealer and go check these out if you're interested in any kind of weed eater, hedge trimmer. I don't exactly know. I know they make blowers, all kind of power tools. But this is one tough workhorse. And I just wanted to show y'all what I'm doing out here around this pond. And this ain't the first time I've cut stuff this big. This little fella here, actually, this pond. The truth is, I do need a little bit bigger one, but I ain't got a bigger one. Well, I do have a bigger one, but this one outcuts the bigger one. That's why I'm showing this to y'all. I have one that's bigger CCs than this, and it don't cut near about as good and powerful as this little fella does. But I like it because it's lightweight and that powerful. But they do make these in bigger sizes, and the truth is, 
I would like to have a bigger size and hopefully one day I can get a bigger size. All right, guys, here's the finished job for today. After going all the way around this pond, I think it's longer than 300 foot long. I'm gonna ask the owner and see how many acre pond this is. He's told me before. And I can't rightly remember. But you can see, we got it cut all the way around. All right, guys, y'all can see what me and the Mariyama Big MBT 230L just got through doing. But I know some of you is going to want to know what kind of string I was using. Let me set this down just a second. What I was using is Oregon, O-R-E-G-O-N, .095 inch. And you can get that right there locally at the Old Grove Tiger Stop where he sells the Mariyama products. Like I said, if you don't live around here, get online. But I'm going to tell you, I got this string, and I had never used the Oregon string. But I knew it had been good, and I even told the fellow the other day up there, I said, well, that's some pretty good string. Well, now after doing this pond, I can promise you that's good string. That little weed eater there you put on there, approximately nine foot. I started out on this pond. I don't know how much was on my spool, but I know it was close to full because last time I filled it up doing the yard, I hadn't used it that much. So I used one spool with the nine foot, and then I put on put it on again, and I finished and ain't run out yet. So less than less than 18 foot of this line for sure done this whole pond bank. And guys, that's some pretty big stuff. If you'd have asked me before I started, I'd have said I'd probably gonna have to read the field about five times. That would have just been my guess, just looking at the grass and the stalks and how big some of that stuff was. So, Oregon .095 is what I was using. But guys, if you like these little videos, please give me a thumbs up. Share my videos with anyone that you think may like these videos. And if you haven't never subscribed, please reach down there and hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. You might see a video pop up one day you want to watch. By all means, don't watch no video you're not interested in. I don't like watching videos I'm not interested in. But if you subscribe and ring that notification bell, you may see something pop up one day that you're interested in or you say, hey, that might can help me out in the future sometime. But as always, guys, I hope y'all have a great day. God bless. See y'all next time.